Welcome to today's Build Your Own Sandal Project. Um, the materials that we will need for this project are the pre-printed sandal and strap template, glue stick, scissors, and markers. So let's get started. First, this is a completed example. So you see that we've created the strap sticking up. So like if this were a foot, your foot would go inside there like that. All right. So the first thing you're gonna do is actually design the area that you're going to put your foot on the sandal, even before you put your name on it, just because um, I want, I don't want you to cut your name off when you um, cut it out. So what I'm doing right here is I'm just, I'm gonna make some kind of pattern. Could you do a drawing? Absolutely. I'm just gonna do a pattern because it's quicker for the demonstration. This is Shirtle, this is kind of boring. What do I want to put in here? And I'm going right off the edge of my sandal because I'm not real worried about it. Because we're gonna cut it out. So you could draw a pattern, like I said, or you could do some scenery. All right, let's just pretend that I have it all designed and I love it, even though I don't. So I'm gonna do that and I am also going to either design or color in solid your strap. Now you could do some kind of pattern or like I could do little flowers or bumblebees or zigzags or something on there if I wanted to. Polka dots perhaps, ooh, maybe I will do polka dots. So as long as my background is the lighter color, I can take my darker color of polka dots and go right over top. I can't go the opposite direction. Like if I colored it this teal color first, I couldn't very well put the light lime green over top. Okay, okay, very nice, very nice. All right, so now that I have it designed, I'm going to cut it out. Remember, scissors always facing away from you. I should say the top of your scissors. So my hand is never like right in front. And this is the part of the scissors that cut, not up here. And I'm gonna go ahead and put my name on this now. And our class code is 1A, but if you're joining me in another class, it might be something completely different. Now, when you cut this strap out, do you see how there is a little dotted line here? Don't cut that, you're gonna need it. We're making a little tab, and we know that tabs are like little bends, or sometimes we refer to them as feet. 
on paper that are used to make things 3D. All right. So I'm going to now take this tab where the dotted line is and fold it down. And then I'm also going to fold the bottoms down. Now I didn't put dotted lines on um, these feet, but you have one tab, two tabs, three tabs, okay? And you have one, two, three dots. So with my stick glue, I'm going to circle a glue, circle a glue, circle a glue, tab goes right there, a tab goes right there, a tab goes right, oh, come here, right here. If you need to like pull this down a little bit, like this one, or push it up a little bit, you can to make it look a little bit more 3D. And then you have your sandal that pops. The strap pops off of your sandal. Ta-da! All right, when you are all finished with this, you can return your glue, return your scissors, throw away your scraps. And if we have extra time, Mr. Shardle might have some directions on for something else for you to do. Questions about this? Speak real loud. I have two questions. Okay, what's your first question? Okay, first question was, are you allowed to wear them? Not in here. Second question, can you make a pair? Perhaps, however, the template is all printed one direction, so you would have to cut it out and then color the back of it so that it is the mirror image of so all your shoes are gonna go this way. You would have to do it this, the opposite direction. Another question, any other questions? By the way, I don't think it would be comfortable to wear them. You would probably get a paper cut in between your big and your first and second toe, which would not be fun at all. Any other questions? All right. <laughs>